In this guide, I'm going to show you how you can improve your input delay here in Fortnite Chapter 4 on any device. It doesn't matter if you guys are right now playing on an Apex Pro, a GK61 or whatever you're using. This is going to help you to reduce your input delay on mouse and keyboard. So therefore, make sure to follow all the steps here to get the least amount of input delay, just like me here in the background. Even while recording or streaming, everything is super smooth. If this video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, guys, please. We're super close to 100k and now let's get straight into this topic. So guys, and what I want to show you in the first place, which is super important actually for your input delay on your mouse specifically and also how your mouse overall feels actually in game and by the way apply this for any games you guys are playing all you have to do is select the right exit of this game of course for fortnite here it's the fortnite client windows 64 shipping exit which you can find directly wherever you have your fortnite installed for me it's here under c program files epic games and then you can find it here in windows 64 and once you basically scroll down you already have it here and all you guys can do is right click onto it and go into properties once we're now in properties, it's going to look exactly like this here. Yeah, we have general compatibility and all that stuff and we want to click onto compatibility. Once we're in here now, we have a ton of options. What I can straight up tell you in the first place, guys, is make sure to disable full screen optimizations. That's really important with how your game overall feels like. This has nothing specifically to do with input delay on your keyboard and mouse directly, but how just simply the game runs a little bit smoother. And then we're going to click here on the change high DPI settings. Once we're in here, we now have a bunch of options again, program DPI and high DPI scaling override we're going to click here under this check over at high dpi scaling behavior we're going to click onto it and make sure that it's actually set to application guys not system or enhanced application then all you guys can do is click onto ok and apply this here real quick and then under ok again and you're already done here with this first step this is a major reason why my mice and keyboard are super responsive as of right now in fortnite since we have no sort of like scaling or mouse acceleration or all that stuff so therefore super easy to do here and anyone can apply it on his windows so guys and this next step now we're going to focus here on x mouse button control which is an amazing tool to actually reduce the input delay on our mouse directly guys and trust me it will make such a huge difference especially in fortnite if you want to know how to get your hands onto this tool just simply go over to my official website let's drive box board and from there click onto input delay once you get redirected just simply scroll down until you can find a post with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail and then once you get redirected just simply scroll down until you can find this download button which is going to redirect you to google drive from where you can get it once you get it on your pc go through the installation process real quick it's going to look exactly like this here click on the next agree and just simply put it here onto your pc you know it's going to get installed basically guys and once you get it on here click onto run x mouse button control once the tool is running guys it should look exactly like this here you have a default profile on the left you don't have to worry about anything here on the right just simply click onto settings then we have general pointer and advanced is what we want to click on guys it's going to look exactly like this here and what you want to do now is make sure to check debounce ignore and actually put this onto one millisecond then the one here above you're going to actually uncheck the rest just simply leave exactly like this here and also make sure to check here fix up debounce till wheel auto repeat and what you want to make sure is to put the repeat tilt rate actually onto one millisecond as well guys the same as here on top then delay between stimulus keystrokes you're gonna put on one as well then for the next one here under delay you're gonna put it to one millisecond as well i like to keep this one here on one there are actually a lot of people who also say that you can put this onto zero guys but it can actually cause additional issues so therefore just simply put it on one here and you're gonna be good to go and the rest you're gonna leave on 30 and 200 and once you got done here now to cpu priority you're gonna make sure to put this onto real time guys yeah not something like high normal whatever put it onto real time straight up click onto ok and apply all of these changes to your default profile once we're done with that it's going to get saved on your pc and you obviously don't have to let this run 24 7 in the background it's just a nice way to get a really responsive mouse no matter what's the sensor or the build quality and all that stuff and especially in a game like fortnite where you have a lot of like mouse action i would say and a lot of like fast and precise actions and clicks this will make a huge difference so guys in this next step what we now want to do is basically go into a window search bar and just simply tap in the mouse until we can find mouse settings and once we're in here we can now see here scroll inactive windows when i hover over them and you actually want to turn this off guys because this can actually give you additional mouse delay on your windows and once we're already in here we're now also going to click under additional mouse options guys click onto it just simply and this new window is gonna pop up once we're now in here make sure to go over to pointer options and that enhance pointer precision is actually turned off guys since this is actually giving you mouse acceleration which you of course don't want because if you have mouse acceleration enabled it's actually going to change your dpi consistently while aiming in games so therefore please make sure that this one is unchecked guys you know for most of you it's probably gonna look like this just simply click onto it again and click onto apply and you're already fully disabled mouse acceleration on your windows pc which is gonna be so much better for precise gameplay then again click onto ok guys and it's only gonna take a few seconds and make really sure that this option is turned off then all you guys gotta do is restart your pc and you're already good to go one of the best
best options guys which i can also only recommend you is actually no ping which does not only help you to improve of course your ping in fortnite but you can additionally here go under settings and enable the turbo games mode which will actually improve your keyboard response time guys this is sort of like the take your mode which is built into the Wooting 60 he which is have right now the fastest keyboard in the world and you can basically apply this to any keyboard you have on your pc just simply make sure that this option is actually turned on and go into close and then minimize no ping in the background and you already have the least amount of input delay while gaming you can by the way get it over the link in the description guys and over on the official side you can pay via paypal or try it out for seven days for absolutely free as mentioned with the link in the description if this video was helpful guys please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel right now this would help me so so much and don't forget to check out the two videos which are right now on screen